All right. Hi, everybody. This is Mrs. Delanis again. Up next for our celebrity interviews, we have Mrs. Donna Kirkham. And um, I'm going to let her tell you a little bit about herself, and then we're going to get on to our questions. So, Mrs. Kirkham, tell us a little bit about yourself, how long you've been teaching, what you teach, that sort of thing. Okay, so I teach U.S. history. Uh, this year I didn't get to teach economics because we have a lot of freshmen, but I, years prior to that, I've, uh, while I've been at Pokey, I've been able to teach economics as well. And this is my fourth year at Pocatello High School. Prior to that, I taught in Blackfoot. I taught at Mountain View Middle School, and I taught history and geography as well. So, yeah, that's, that's my career so far. All right. Awesome. So I have 50 random silly questions and I'm okay. going to just have you pick a number between one and 50. We're going to do five of these. So pick a number between one and 50 and I'll read you that question. And we'll go from there. Okay. 49. All right. 49. If you had a time machine, would you go back in time or into the future? I would. Um, I'd go back in time because I teach history. So, yeah. Well, there's things you'd want to see. What do you want to see? Uh, well, the first thing, and it's going to sound a little funny, but I would want to see my great grandma because when I was little, I used to spend a lot of time with her and she used to tell me some fantastic stories about the Dust Bowl in Kansas and the Great Depression and just her life, what she did. And so I definitely, that would be my first stop. And then I would want to go back and I would want to interview a couple of people, sit down and talk to them. One, Sam Adams, and uh, because I think he's pretty cool and just a huge rebel. And Paul Revere, I would want to interview him. And let's see. Someone a little more recent that isn't around any. I think I would want to sit down with John Wayne just to talk to him. And uh, James Dean. Um, nice. Talk to nice. Too. Yeah. So that's what I'd want to do. Right on. That's awesome. I don't know that. I, I don't know that. Uh, yeah. I would never have thought of those people to interview, but I like history. But I think, I think if I were going to go back in time, I would want to hang out with people more than interview them. I would want to just be like, okay, I'm just going to go back and be their best friend and just follow them around, see yeah. what they do. And maybe that's what I should do. Life. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. But I would, I would definitely with Sam Adams, I'd have to go. Hopefully I'd be 21 because he hung around a lot <laughs> in bars. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. You got you to gotta be of age to hang out with some of those people, huh? Right. Right. All right. Give me another number. Okay, so let's do 14. All right, number 14. If somebody wrote a biography about you, what do you think the title should be? Definitely Legendary Rock Star. Ooh, yeah. wow. Because I, I, I love rock concerts. That's my favorite thing to do. And I, I get pretty crazy at rock concerts. So, in fact, my kids all send them pictures sometimes from the concerts that I go to. And they ask me, where's my mom? What have you done with her? And so. <laughs> <laughs> you turn into a whole new person, huh? I, I do. Yeah, I, I do. So. Well, I'm going to have to find a way to secretly film you at one of those because you are such a put together person. It's, a, it's hard for me to imagine you like completely cutting loose. No, oh, yeah, it, it's it's quite the scene. I, I might have a little bit of footage my husband's taken. I don't know. I might have to share it sometime. <laughs> so I need to bribe your husband for that footage so we can add it to this, huh? Yeah, maybe. So I might have I might have a few photos too that I can share. So yeah. So who's the, who's the best concert you've been to? Uh well recently it's not been like obviously not that recent, but one of the best concerts that I went to was God Smack and Shine Down in Salt Lake. And it was phenomenal. It rained on us, but it was still, it was so cool. Loved it. It was loud nice. and chaotic. And yeah, it was great. Nice. So. Is, are, is, are there any concerts that you'd like, any, you know, musicians or groups you'd love to go see you haven't been able to see? Okay, so last November, I was so disappointed. My husband and I wanted to go to Wyoming, or maybe, no, it was Montana. 
and we wanted to see five finger death punch, but it just, because of his job, it didn't work out. And so I was really disappointed with that. I would really like to go see a uh, five finger death punch. And then hopefully this summer when lamb of God is supposed to be here uh, at the Fortnite wellness center, I'll be able to go see that. And that's definitely going to be some head banging, loud screaming and, so it'll be a good time. Right on. That's awesome. Good for you. That's exciting. I have a friend that's really into music and she's dragged me to some some pretty crazy concerts. I think the craziest one I've been to is the Grateful Dead in, in Denver, Colorado. And it was it was a very wild time, but it was super fun. Yeah. So did you go to the Grateful Dead tribute at the the AMC theater this last summer? They had no. No, this was a couple of, this was probably three or four years ago that we went. Okay. Nice. Yeah. That was awesome though. Yeah. Okay. Give me another number. All right. Let's do number five. All right. If you were a tree, what kind of tree would you be and why? Hmm. I would love to be a willow tree just because it has so many branches that kind of fall around and you can sit under it. And I just feel like a, a willow tree, it would help me kind of collectively keep all my kids together and my family and I could just watch over them and students as well. So yeah, I think a willow tree, just, they're just nice. That's actually really sweet. I can picture that, you know, kind of the loving embrace of the willow branches, but I can also picture it, you know, then when the music turns on, just, you know, that whole rock right? out crazy, yeah. crazy thing. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, willow tree fits you, girl. That's true. Yes. Yes. Okay. Another number. All right. Let's do, and it's one through 50. Yep. Let's do 32. All right. Number 32 says, how would you react? You know, it's funny because um, somebody else asked it and okay, chose this number. How would you react if you were suddenly transformed into a fish? <laughs> oh, not very well, because I, 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 I like to fish, but I hate to eat it. Oh, it's, like I like salmon, but uh, I yeah. I, well, if you were a fish, you wouldn't be eating yourself. You would just be swimming know, around in the water. I know, but it just doesn't. It just doesn't sound very appealing to me to be a fish. Uh, I, I don't know. I feel like I'd be the one on the beach, like flopping around, like trying to get back <laughs> to the water, <laughs> <laughs> trying to sprout legs. I gotta, right. I gotta evolve quicker. Evolve quicker. <laughs> <laughs> okay, give me another number. Okay, so let's do 25. All right. Um, what did you want to be when you were 10 years old? Oh, what grade was I in when I was 10 years old? So, fourth well, grade. fourth grade or fifth grade, when, you know. Fourth grade or fifth grade. Okay, so I definitely know that I wanted to be a teacher. And this is why, and I've told my students this story. Uh, on occasion. But when I was in third grade, I had this teacher and his name was Mr. Middleton. And if I ever see him again, I'm going to kick him in the shin because he was just <laughs> terrible. But no, I'm serious. Okay. So, so when I was in third grade, like it, all three grades in middle school, high school, I was the, I was the girl that no one liked and like we were really poor and just, you know, and so I didn't have a lot of friends and Mr. Middleton, he picked favorites. He was the worst teacher about that. He had, you know, all the cool kids, the rich kids, those were his favorites. And I didn't like math at all. And so the school I went to in grade school, we had our own lockers, which was pretty cool. But I had told him that I lost my math assignment. I, I really didn't lose it. I just didn't do it. So he, he told me that he wanted to go to my locker and look, and I wasn't, you know, I, I'm not very stealthy at 
the third grade and I had wadded up my math paper and threw it at the bottom of my locker. Well, he found it because obviously that's probably what third graders always do. And he unwadded it and he brought it in the class and he was waving it around in front of the class. And he's like, I found her math. She lied. And for a punishment, he made me, and I can't even make this up. He made me sit underneath his desk. And it was kind of, it was like a desk I have at school. It was a wood desk. And so I was up underneath this wood desk. And he was like kicking me while I was underneath the desk. And he was laughing and kids were laughing. And I just hated him. I hated him so much. And I, I remember thinking as, as I got out of his class, you know what? I could, even at that age, I can do a better job than he can do. And so I, I just, <laughs> just seriously, I, I, I should stalk him on Facebook or something. I don't know. But yeah, he's not a great teacher. So I definitely wanted to be a teacher. I knew that. Okay. So I have some questions for you because your story, your story is a little fishy. First off, I know no third graders with lockers. So I, well, I grew up in Kansas. That's I know. I grew up in Kansas. So, oh, so that explains it. It's yeah. Kansas. Not the yeah. lockers, but just a different place. Yeah. So. And uh, I do believe the grade school that I went to, it had been converted. It was uh, like a high school. And actually, the, the school that I went to, my mom, all my aunts and uncles, they went to the school. And the grade school, I think, was a school that they converted from a high school into a grade school middle school. And so that's why we had lockers. Okay. Well, maybe yeah. if you maybe if you see this teacher, you should tell you should give him a hug. And thank him because maybe he inspired you to become a teacher and look how great I, your life is now. I know, maybe, but oh, third grade. That was like traumatizing. Like I yeah. And I, I remember he used to wear these polo shirts and khakis and he had this really big afro because they were in style and he had this beard and mustache and he was so short. Like I probably am taller than him now. And uh so yeah, I maybe I wouldn't kick him, but I <laughs> That's not how we're telling, teaching kids to solve their no, problems. No, I, I would probably just tell him I was a better teacher than he was. So <laughs> okay, my editing skills are not good enough to edit out the kicking. So you're going to have to, you're just going to have to deal with the consequences of that. I, I know. I think I've told my kids that if I ever saw <laughs> I might I probably would do that. So just, you know. All right. I don't, I don't know what number we're on, but we're going to do one more for good measure. Okay. So let's do... 18. 18. There, there's something about these numbers. We should pick these for the lottery because I'm telling you, people are picking the same numbers today. Oh my right. goodness. On a scale of one to 10, rate yourself on how weird you are. Oh, geez. <laughs> I, I'd say probably an eight. I, yeah, I would because you kind of mentioned this before you said, oh, well, you always look so put together and things like that. And I'm, I'm so not put together and, but, <laughs> but I pretend really well. So. Yeah. Uh, well, we all pretend really well. I mean, well, right. some of us pretend better than others. I think, yeah. I think lots of people look at me and go, how did she become principal of the high school? Wow. But yeah, so you <laughs> pretend really well. If you, if you don't feel put together, you've got it going on girl. No, I just, um, you know, and some of the things I like, like, you know, I, I love hard rock, heavy metal. I love listening to that. Um, I, I really don't like the cold, but I live in Idaho. Um, I, I'm married to, and a lot of people would say, you know, I'm pretty reserved and I don't, you know, I'm not the loudest person in the room, but I married the loudest person in Idaho. I swear he's, you know, he's, <laughs> you can hear him coming a mile away and, uh, uh, yeah. So I, I live a pretty weird life. So. Well, this this wild and crazy personality of yours, he probably has to be allowed to, you know, get a word in edgewise. <laughs> the first time we went to a concert together, I think he just stood there and was just watching me because he just was like, oh, my goodness, I don't know this person. Like, who is this? <laughs> like, <laughs> And then it was like a train wreck. You couldn't look away. So we just had to take you home with him, huh? Yeah, yeah. 
I, yeah, pretty much. Actually, our first date was, and not by my choice, but uh, it was monster truck races, and I'd never been. And I, I asked him when, when he said, "Hey, do you want to go to the monster truck races?" I, I stopped for a second. I was like, "Are you sure? That's okay." <laughs> you know. <laughs> And I, it might have been the fumes or something like that, but it was a match made in heaven. <laughs> there you go. Love, love sprouts in the strangest places, right? Yep, it does. So. Well, that's all our questions for you today, Mrs. Kirkham. Thanks for joining us. All right. Thanks for interviewing me. This was awesome. <laughs> it was fun to get to know you. Okay. See you later. Okay. See you, honey. Bye. Bye. Bye, everybody. See you next time.